Hello folks, Scott with Dallas Paint Correction and Auto Detailing here in Dallas, Texas. It's been raining here. I think we're supposed to have like five inches or eight inches of rain by the end of the week. Anyway, I'm working on, I don't know what year this car is, but my customer called me in and there's all sorts of, we're not sure if this is finger paint because there's children inside the car, some type of finger paint, maybe nail polish, maybe, I, we don't know what it is, but I tell you what, my customer said they've tried so many different things. They tried simple green, they tried uh, Lexol, they tried all sorts of stuff to remove this. They even said to me, they said, Scott, we went out and tried super clean because we saw your videos and we thought that stuff would work. And they looked at me and they said, sorry, my friend, that stuff's not so super. <laughs> I kind of took it personal, but uh, that I, woke up and said, wait a minute, we're trying to remove some type of paint. Alkaline cleaners aren't going to help you in the moment. I'm going to bring you in here and let you take a closer look at this thing. Sorry for it being so shaky. But if we come here, we can see this paint. Now there's a bunch of this stuff. I keep saying it's paint. It's my best guess. It's some type of finger paint. But this stuff is all over the car. This just happens to be a big spot of it. So I want to show you how I'm going to remove it. Let me put the camera back down, folks. Sorry. Sorry for being so shaky. Find the best spot for you guys. Is that the best spot? Probably not. Okay, you guys can still see what I'm working on right there, right? Okay, so let's just kind of prove a point here for a second, if you guys don't mind. I'm going to take some Lexol. This happens to be their leather deep cleaner. Oh, that's great. Let's try that out. Let's try. All I'm going to do is spray it onto a microfiber towel. I'll spray the... This stuff is like soupy jelly stuff. I don't know if you've ever used it before, but... I don't know, that's kind of problematic right off the bat. But I'll go in here and I'll rub it on this area. I'll go back and forth. I'll agitate it with my microfiber and I'll keep trying to get that spot off there. Well, it didn't do it. Let me just mop up after myself. The stuff is still there. It won't come off. This is pretty, pretty aggressive, whatever this is. I'll take some chemical guys. Nonsense. This is pH neutral. This is supposed to be a great cleaner. Let's see if that will do it. I'll do the same thing. I'll take a microfiber towel and I'll simply sp spray the nonsense chemical guys stuff and I'll wipe it over this area. Okay, Scott, how we doing? Well, we're not getting anything off there. This is going to be a miserable fail. My customer is going to get pissed off at me. I got to get this stuff off, folks. I'll show you another cleaner that I use. I'll tell you what it is after I get done, but watch how well this stuff works to remove stuff off of leather. We gotta remember leather really has a plastic coating on it. So let me go in there with the cleaner I would choose to remove nail polish, makeup, paint, whatever, and go in there and take it off. And I'm just gonna use this microfiber towel just going to go back and forth. I'm not agitating too hard. I'm not pushing too hard. I'm not breaking out a brush. I want the cleaner to do what it needs to do, break down that stuff. I'm not being overly aggressive. Some people are like, Scott, I don't like when you use a brush on the leather. I, I think you're ruining the leather. Some people will use a magic eraser. Well, I'll just use this microfiber and just go back and forth over this area. and mop up after myself. Well, I got a little bit more. I still got to get off. It didn't get it all off, but let me get a little bit more on there and get the rest of that stuff off. Again, I'm not being overly aggressive with a brush or anything like that. Go in there and mop up after myself. Sorry, this is a little boring, huh? But this stuff will help you guys out. Let's get a closer look there now. Well, there you go. The paint is gone. No more finger paint, no more nothing. So there you go. Now, what did I use? What I'm about to tell you I used, sorry for being so shaky. Let me get this camera in a better place. So sorry, guys. What I ended up using, I certainly didn't use Lexol. I certainly didn't use chemical, chemical Guys nonsense. Folks, what I used was Citrol 266 diluted 
at four to one in a 32 ounce bottle. Folks, this is very important. This is the part of the videos that get a little bit long-winded for me because there's certain issues with working with certain chemicals around the car. Citral 266, you gotta remember, this is modern day leather. It's got a plastic coating on it, but you have to know what dilution ratio you need to be at so you don't affect the plastic coating on the leather. That's really important. This stuff is incredibly effective of removing finger paints. I had customers who've had spray cans like aerosols that punctured and got paint all over the leather. Again, I know I have a lot of experience with the chemical. I have a lot of experience with cleaning leather. Not all leather is created equal. Some of the plastic coating that's on some leather may be incredibly fragile, a little bit more delicate than others. So you're going to have to know and find that balance. If you're going to use Citral 266 on leather to remove stuff like paint, women's makeup, nail polish, where the other cleaners like Chemical Guys Nonsense, Lexol, even Super Clean won't get it, you have to kind of you gotta have to have a balance here. You gotta be very careful how you go in. Start with a high dilution ratio, like 20 to 1, 15 to 1. If that doesn't work, but you're not seeing any color fastness issues, raise it up. Go to go to 10 to 1, go to 8 to 1, and find that sweet spot where it can pull the nail polish off, pull the paint, pull the makeup off the thing without ruining the leather or the plastic, I should say, on the leather itself. I just wanted to share that with you. I've got many spots around the car. My, I told my customer I'll have it off in this particular area less than 10, 15 seconds. And they said, come on, I don't believe you. We even tried a little scotch bright pad. We couldn't get it off. Well, there you go. That's how I would do it. Again, be very careful how you use it. I just got a lot of experience with it. Love you all. Talk to you soon.